So those enemies that we're fighting, uh, with the, uh, you know, just bubbles, uh, they're called Bonita Zakos, and this is the definition, or the description of them from the manual. The EX worlds are populated by Zako, minions of the demons of vanity which Linda must defeat to earn points. The primary form of Zako are the Bonitas, young women who wish that a certain part of their body was augmented. Well, the demons of vanity heard their cry and were more than happy to grant their wish. Bonita's use of their augmented appendages to both attack, maneuver, and defend their weak point, the rest of their body. <sighs> this game's screwed up. <laughs> and I love it! So, next boss we have here is Miss Mecha. I found out their name is Miss, Miss Mecha, so, you know. Let's just go with that, okay. I think they're also Zacko Bombs. Zacko rockets. Zacko Zacko's. Crazy stuff. This is Miss Mecha. Um, I believe what their weak point is. Well, that's not their weak point. You can grab them. Ah, crap. You can grab them on their stomach area, and you can just launch yourself into them. And that might do something. Basically, you just want to avoid their arm attacks. So yeah, that seems to work for uh, for stunning them. I think what you want to do to actually damage them is to hit the little lizard-type creature on top. Let's get out of the way before it starts hurting us more. Let's do that. Hey! Come back here! I have to hit you! There we go. Where are you? I can never get it. Oh well. Oh god, that wasn't the best idea. Stretch it! Stretch the hell out of it! Oh god, don't damage me! Got it. Fancy, fancy. So that did quite a bit of damage. So it's shooting those rockets at us. We can actually refl reflect the rockets back if we uh, time it well. Oh god. Hit it! Oh. Oh, I guess that works. I think the rocket damaged me, though. Ow. Ah! I'm hurting. This might actually be a close one, which sucks. Hey! Ow! Oh, wow. I'm so close to dead, it ain't even funny! Ah! Oh crap, and it's got a rocket coming towards me. And it's spinning towards me. Ow! Damn you! That's what you don't want to do. <laughs> that was actually an easy boss. That's stupid. Oh well. So, uh, that's what happens if you die. No game over screen, you just return back here. And you don't get your points back, so... Try not to die. There's dying for you. I'm Quadraxis14. See you next time. No, let's do this right now. This time. <clears throat> I don't know. So that's our first death. I won't cut it out, but... Any unnecessary deaths after that, I'll just cut out. Unless they're somehow amazingly comical. Yeah, see here? Um... First time we fought them, it was a different sister. Now it's this big bloated sister. I don't quite know what the deal with that is. Anyways, we can skip that cutscene. Probably should have done it earlier, but you know. Let's try grabbing onto this. 
Ugh, scientist part. Never get that. Which is really bad at getting its weak point. Ow. I didn't even hit it. Yeah, this boss can sometimes be a big pain in the butt. If you don't do it right, it will become rather irritating. I'm gonna stretch the hell out of you, man! That works. Ow. You and your stinking missiles and your giant punches. God. Giant robots, they just don't have any respect these days. Ow. Maybe I should back up so I don't get hit by that. What a concept! Back up. Yeah, it's just hard to maneuver around this boss because the camera angle is kind of irritating. And it's constantly doing the same attack! Oh my god! There we go. Get, get the scientist part! No! Ah! Alright, let's see if we can... Yeah, you can actually snap the missile back at them. That can be kind of useful. Ah! Whew, that's kind of hectic battle. Glad to have that battle over. I'm not a big fan of that one either. Just... I don't know, it's not really hard, it's just easy to get hit if you're being reckless, which I was. So, right here is this bell thing. If you slam yourself into it, you can actually see all of the sisters that you've de defeated so far. So Cinder... Those are the ones that you haven't defeated yet. Ah, go upwards! No! No! There. So this is Miss Mecha. This is Siren. This is Spinner. And this is Cinder. What you can do with this is, uh, kind of interesting. It's... It, it's weird. Uh, let me just see if I can find this here. Sorry. It's called Shame. What you do is you press L1, and you actually get to edit the boss. Sort of. What you do is, um, you can change their features. I can do this. I don't, I don't really know. I have to consult the actual controls for how to do this, but... Okay. Otherwise, you can, um... You can actually change this, give them little f special effects on their bodies. Like a rocky effect, a shiny effect, a metallic effect. In the metallic effect, you can actually see yourself looking into the bell right there. Look at me! And then this black and white effect. It's kind of weird, but kind of cool. Fun little add on. Um. Okay, that's enough. No more Zacco Bonitos. No! I don't want to. No! Get me out of here! Oh god, horrifying. Can't even see the rest of them! Alright. Um. Oh, we unlocked. I believe two more bosses and an EX X World. Uh. Two EX worlds and God, I don't know. Three bosses, two EX worlds, so we got some stuff to do. 
So that's all the bosses for the first set. Um, now the doors start to cost more to open. We need three points to open them now. And the bosses get tougher as the game goes on. Uh, that one right up there with the giant fish thing, I guess you could call it. That one. That's probably my favorite boss. Well, one of my favorite bosses. It's pretty unique and pretty weird too. But that just kind of follows suit with the rest of the game, so. Save our game. And I will see you next time on Let's Play Stretch Panic. Hope you're enjoying it, everybody. Um, see you next time. Also, we have all these little wacky badges on our hat. We have the weirdest hat in the world. And the weirdest scarf to compliment it. Alright, see ya.